When the Cleveland Browns lace them up this Sunday against the Minnesota Vikings, they do so without the services of starting quarterback Brandon Whedon, who sits with a thumb injury. However, the Browns shocked the football world when they announced that Brian Hoyer will start in replace of Whedon, passing over Jason Campbell. I was a little surprised because Jason Campbell has over 70 career NFL starts, veteran presence, and is an above average quarterback in my opinion. I can only surmise that the Browns know what they have in Jason Campbell, have him penciled in as their backup, and are curious as whether Hoyer could be the starter. Whedon, of course, hasn't fared very well. He played well in preseason, but the Browns are 0-2, and they didn't do very well last year. He's an, he was an older rookie, and you can't really rebuild or be in rebuilding mode unless you got a young guy in there. Hoyer started his career over in New England, backing up Tom Brady, went over to Arizona, played sparingly, decent at times. Of course, the Cardinals went on to sign Carson Palmer, and Hoyer found himself a journeyman backing up Whedon in Cleveland. Now, with a couple weeks out with this thumb injury, that gives Hoyer the chance of a lifetime to take the bull by the horns and redirect this 0-2 team, which is desperate for a victory. The old adage, you don't lose your job because of an injury, does not exist in the NFL. Just look back to the San Francisco 49ers last year. They were playing well, they were in first place, their quarterback Alex Smith was playing the best football of his career, and he still didn't get his job back because Colin Kaepernick wouldn't let it go back. He played so well. So here you go. Brian Hoyer, the chance of a lifetime for the Cleveland Browns on Sunday versus the Minnesota Vikings. But before then, you have the Thursday night matchup versus the Philadelphia Eagles and the Kansas City Chiefs, who bring Andy Reid, their head coach, back to town to visit his old team that he coached for 14 years. Reed diverted questions, didn't want to get into the emotion of it all, and he wanted to stay focused on the task at hand, which is understandable. However, several Eagles players spoke glowingly about their former coach, Deshaun Jackson included. However, it was Michael Vick who stood out when he stood at the podium, looked into the camera, and said not only is Andy Reid a great man, I'm sorry, a great coach, but he's a great man. That reminded me of Howard Cosell speaking of the great Muhammad Ali. No one could ever question what Andy Reid means to Michael Vick. It was the Eagles and Vick who gave him another chance in the NFL to be a starting quarterback, really honed his game, along with Marty Mordenweg, Reid, who's great with quarterbacks, I think converted Vick into the all-around player that he is today. Back in Atlanta, you didn't see such a multi-dimensional player. Vic with the Eagles just last week passed for 426 yards, 426, a career high under Chip Kelly in the new vaunted Eagles offense. So it's going to be an intriguing matchup with this fast-paced offense, high scoring versus Kansas City's defense, which is shutting good teams like the Dallas Cowboys, you know, down with only 16 points last week for for Dallas. So. Michael Vick praises Andy Reid, and the Cleveland Browns announce that the Minnesota, Minnesota Vikings will have to face Brian Hoyer as the Browns' starting quarterback on Sunday.